the chorus of a Grecian drama or a Grecian play would comment on the main actions of the story, kind of like a narration. They would also come out in full force, 50 or so men singing and dancing about the emotional climax of the actual play. This word has been adapted over the millennia, through the Romans and through the Europeans and now through us. And in songwriting, it's meant to highlight the emotional core of a song, the main message, the main theme, the main idea of the song. What does that mean for us now? And why should you start moving your choruses around in the first place? Life goes up, death goes down, we go round and round. This is us, we're in love, and it's so profound. Think of a section in a song as a scene in a movie wherein some complete plot-wise thing happens, whether it's character growth or whether a character achieves something, whether a character gets a question answered, Much like how a scene in a movie sets out to have a particular story-wise goal, a section conveys particular information, a verse displays textual information, and a bridge conveys musical information. The chorus is a repeated section that is somewhere between a verse and a bridge, wherein the musical content and the lyrical content are focused, honed into one specific message. As such, It's also understood to be the part of the song that the listener is most likely to latch on to. It's why most popular songs name their songs after what happens in the chorus, because that's just what people remember the most. Now, of course, the length of each section of your song depends on what you actually do to catch your listener's attention. See, with Motown music, Motown rock, Motown pop, most of their music is anywhere between two minutes to four minutes long. And this is because the average length of their sections is anywhere between 15 seconds to 30 seconds. When you talk to a songwriter from Motown Records, most of them would say that you have about 15 to 30 seconds to capture your listener's ear. That's just because that's how people listen to Motown music. They get used to the lengths of the sections and they just move on from there. If you can't capture them within 15 seconds, you're not writing a Motown pop song. For me, the way that I write songs... I tend to aim around 30 seconds to 45 seconds. I'll give myself no more than 45 seconds in the beginning of a song to introduce the song, to lead people into the song through an introduction. I have broken that rule once or twice, and it's mostly when I have some sort of artistic thing that I'm doing. Like in my song, My Child, the original intro of the song is an entire minute and 16 seconds. Let alone that the actual meat of the song is over three minutes, but the actual beginning of the song is itself over that limit. And it's mostly because I'm not trying to make something catchy. I'm not trying to grab attention. I'm trying to let things breathe. I'm trying to say something else. But what if I was trying to grab your attention? Well, I tested out a few things with some of the other songs that I've been writing. One of them is already released. This is us. The song cold opens on the chorus. You're dropped in media res to the emotional climax of the song. And personally, it adds a bit of spice that I just wouldn't have thought to add if I wasn't thinking of the chorus as the core, us. After we hit the ground running, we take a bit of a pause as I introduce the song, and then there's a bit of an off-kilter beat before we actually get to the first verse of the song. I tried to keep the verses kind of devoid of a bass so that it would be more airy. You'd focus more on the textures of the song than the actual meat or core of the sound. Rather than having a fully realized backdrop, I would take away the bass and some of the high end, and then I could reintroduce them in the chorus. This song is four and a half minutes, but it feels a little shorter because you're already used to hearing the chorus. So when the chorus happens again, it feels not as long the second time or third time or fourth time. 
Putting the chorus in the beginning of the song just made my song longer because I forgot that I put it in the beginning of the song. I had already had three choruses in the main meat of the song. So when I put another chorus in the beginning of the song, it pushes it over four minutes. I think the actual time of the song is about four and a half minutes. And that extra half minute of music is just the chorus in the beginning of the song. Death goes down, we go round and round. This is a swear in love and it's so profound. Looking back on my um sort of discography, I'd like to note that I actually had two songs that I had written chorus first, which is to say I had thought of the chorus before anything and then didn't decide to move it from where it was anyway. The first song being Pride, which is one of my most viewed music videos on my channel. And the second song being This Is Us, which is one of the most viewed songs off of my new EP, which I'm still working on, too. So at the very least, investing on putting your choruses at earlier parts of the song is a pretty good investment. So here's what I'm going to ask of you. Experiment. Try it with yourself. Put the chorus of the song that you're working on in the beginning of the song, and then just write the song as normal. See what it does to the actual structure of the song. Does it kick it off with energy, or does it start in a different place than you thought it would? Demo you wanna get up, Patty? It won't let me, it'll take off running. Maybe not. Hey, Mommy! <coughs> no, let's just go. No, why? Have a good night.